Greg Chick, Ramonas Farmer here. I'm going to show you how to prevent damage to your house and the piping in the yard by installing a water pressure regulator at the meter. At the meter as opposed to at the house so that we can also control the water pressure in the yard, avoiding the damage to your sprinklers, the misting, the overspray, and all of that problem in the yard as well as the house. Okay, here we have a water meter box. Most houses will have these in either at the sidewalk or the curb or somewhere like that. This one here shows some area dug up in front of it, PVC pipe. I've got a meter key here. I'm going to turn off the water to the meter on the street side with a key. Now uh, it's usually got a little slotted uh, valve there to turn just like that. Line up the uh, little padlock holes and you know it's completely in the off position. Turn off, uh, open up a hose bib at the house, drain off the water pressure before you cut the PVC because, you know, it'll spray in the face if you don't. Um, I'm just going to get this pipe out of my way right now, so I'm going to make a random cut just to so I can start working in between where that cutter is and the, uh, uh, the house valve, which is the second valve after the meter, or the first valve after the meter. There's two shutoff valves in that meter box. Uh, there's some water coming back. It's minimal because uh, this meter box right here where I'm working is not 20 feet in elevation below the house. Uh, that would be a problem if, if that were the case. You'd get more water down into your hole there and you'd have to pump it out or bail it out. Um, there's the Jones valve there down in the valve box with the lever handle. And uh, that's the handle you can shut off. Uh, if you want to use your hand. Uh, that's a union uh, right there that comes with the regulator, that little union nut. And I've already made this piece of copper uh, and brass fittings with, with my uh, uh, tools. And I've gotten a distance outside the meter box, far enough away from it so that I can put a plastic valve box in front of it for the regulator. And here, I'm wrapping Teflon tape as opposed to using a Teflon paste on the threads so that the uh, tape seals the, the threaded joints, the tapered threaded joints. And uh, I'm putting, you know, four or five wraps on there, doing it the right direction, screwing the uh, brass uh, uh, coupler on there. I'm going to use a one inch regulator, and that's a three quarter inch meter, so I've got an increased bell reducer there. Most meters aren't bigger than three quarter inch. It's just very common. You can get quite a bit of water out of a three-quarter inch meter. You don't need a you don't need a one-inch meter usually. Uh, anyway, this this uh, Jones valve is off, and uh, I'm going to screw this little uh, brass or copper connector from the Jones valve to the regulator uh, with that union nut there. And that union nut's got a rubber seal in it that seals the uh, uh, the union instead of the uh, tapered pipe threads with tape on them. Um, I've got double unions on this regulator so that later I can just use a pair of pliers to change this regulator out and not have to change any pipes, move any pipes, do anything like that. Uh, and there's the section of uh, pipe that's going to go into the meter box from the regulator. And uh, the other end of the regulator is going to attach to that uh, PVC line going to the house with a uh, compression adapter, a PVC compression adapter. You'll see that in a second. Um, there's a few things you're not seeing uh, in the editing of this video, and uh, a couple of them are, uh, one is I when I cut the PVC, I cone the end of that PVC to deburr it. Oh, here's, here's an example of uh, PVC uh, or pipe threads and Teflon tape going on the correct direction. I'm spinning the tape, wrapping it around away from the direction that the fitting will turn into the fitting, the, the nipple will turn into the fitting. Um, watch how I keep tension on that tape so that it is forced into the, the, the grooves of the threads. I use my index finger and my middle finger to, to restrict the uh, turning of the tape roll. It's a learned skill. If you don't want to learn that, don't worry about it. Just use paste. Use paste that's compatible with PVC and you're good to go. Not all Teflon paste or all, not all pipe dope is compatible with PVC. It says so on the can. 
Uh, I just prefer tape on a lot of things. Take your choice. But uh, here, here I'm going to screw the uh, regulator and that, that fitting I've got into the regulator. Uh, put that, that, that compression adapter into it. So that compression adapter, that one in my left hand there, that white plastic fitting is going to compress onto the um, PVC um, with a, and seal with an O-ring. And now that plastic fitting uses a tapered thread to screw into the brass, but uses an O-ring to seal onto the PVC. When you tighten that down, you want to make sure that your, your, your Jones valve there, your lever handle, is in the right position, not rotated off to the side or upside down. And there's a union nut inside the uh, meter box on the meter to ensure that you can line that up the way you want it rotationally. Now there you see the PVC is too long. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to allow enough PVC to stick into that, that uh, compression adapter. Enough to push into it, but not enough to uh, get in the way. Taking that much off there, and then what you don't see is me put the uh, camphor tool, comb the edge of that PVC to keep the sharp edge off the uh, from turbulating the water. And then I just push that uh, compression fitting onto that PVC. First the nut, and then the, uh, the stainless steel keeper ring, and then the protector, the O-ring protector, and then the O-ring. There's the stainless steel ring. It's kind of directional. It pushes on, but if you try to pull that off, you'll, it won't work. And you push that, that stainless steel ring back with this plastic keeper. This, not, not a keeper, it's a protector of the O-ring. And then there's the O-ring. That is what does the sealing of the fitting to the PVC pipe. No solvent needed, no dope needed. And that union nut just screws onto that fitting there I'm pushing on. That that threads up uh, hand tied is fine. It like I said that those threads there aren't doing any sealing. The instructions usually come with those fittings if you buy them uh, domestic ones and pay a full price for them. Uh, I use domestic plastic whenever possible. Uh, it's just a higher grade. Uh, there's the two, two union nuts on the regulator. Um, they've got rubber seals, so that thread there that I'm turning is an Acme thread, non-tapered. It doesn't do the sealing. The seal in there does. No dope needed. Um, a pair of pliers tightens that union down, uh, seals up those uh, seals, and uh, now I can tighten that thing down completely and get my rotation of the, the valve body, the regulator body, you know, vertically, upright. And uh, the Jones valve uh, in the meter box, you know, vertically, you know, the way it's supposed to be. And snug everything up. Uh, and then I'm going to turn off the Jones valve uh, in the box there. And then turn, oh, right here, I'm, I'm taking the pressure up a little bit. It comes factory set at 55, but, you know, I'm going to give the house about 65. I'm going to rotate that nut a little. The instructions come with the regulator that, that say, you know, what direction to turn that. And it happens to be uh, backwards from logic. By the way, all regulators are. You tighten them down to open them up, and you open them up to tighten them down. Now here I'm going to just uh, close the Jones valve, open up the meter uh, curb stop, and to test for leaks at the meter union. And as you'll see in a second, there's some leaks there. I'm going to tighten that union nut for the meter down, seal up that leak, and I'm done. Good to go. See the leak there? Thanks for watching. For more information and free videos on how to do it yourself, go to DIYPlumbingAdvice.com. Can you do it? Yes, you can, and I can help.